I'm Tai Chi, and today I'm in Naperville, Illinois, at my favorite chocolate shop, Le Chocolat de Bouchard. And yes, you guessed. Today's topic is chocolate. About a year ago, I discovered this place when we were filming my music video. Feel like I'm 16 again, when I didn't care what the world would say. to bring you a wonderful woman who owns the Le Chocolat de Bouchard, Miss Kathy Bouchard. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. thank you for having me. I want to thank you for bringing the chocolate to us and for the awareness and all that you do. Thank so you. tell me, what, thank what you, is thank it? You. Well, uh, yes, I am a little passionate about chocolate, and I have been for a number of years. I used to be a chocoholic, but now I consider myself more of a, a connoisseur, not a, a chocoholic. Um, chocolate uh, lovers, for the most part, are addicted to the sugar, and especially here in America, because American chocolate is not real chocolate. 95% of chocolate in America is not real chocolate. The new craze that's been going on for a few years now with gourmet chocolate has hit America and, and European chocolate is now over here finally and being imported more and the American palate is adjusting to real chocolate. But for the longest time they were eating milk chocolate, which is not real chocolate. I mean, that is adulterated chocolate. And mostly in America, since there's no laws and guidelines, the trans fat is can add, be added into it. The cocoa butter can be pulled out by the companies, major American companies, and sold off to cosmetic companies and things. So they want to use that and get the money for that. So they substitute trans fats. We don't want those trans fats because those will sit in, store in the fat cells. The animal milk fat, when you have um, milk chocolate, blocks the antioxidants. Problem with American chocolate is for about 110 years since milk chocolate was introduced to America, and we all think that's chocolate. It's really not. In, in Switzerland it is. I mean, real milk chocolate is delicious to eat, but don't think you're going to get healthy eating milk chocolate every day. Well, it's wonderful that we are getting all this new product, and thanks to people like you, really, um, because you were saying the, 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 the cacao bean and the, uh, the powder and the butter contain tremendous minerals and vitamins. Incredible. And it, incredible. Off, off the charts. It's the most perfect food on the planet, the most nutrient dense food that there is. Most foods have, uh, all foods uh, that we ingest um, are between five and 60 complex compounds with broccoli topping the list at 60. You know, your magnesium and, you know, coppers and calciums and phosphorus and anything that you would, would need, all the, the nutrients that we need, you know, in, in our human bodies. On the other hand, chocolate and cacao now that they, they know in the last few years uh, with more and more laboratory studies you know being done most of it in Europe some in the states but most of this has always been done in Europe they now know that cacao has 512 and counting it has yes. more nutrients than anything else so it's like taking a multivitamin yes. so you might get something different from it than our husbands would or that I would or that our children would but pretty much anybody at any age over two can eat chocolate safely all the way to the you know elderly. Uh, we've got 96 year old people that are on our chocolate regimen and having results. So you can eat the chocolate you know every day, enjoy it, and um, and don't have to worry. But real chocolate. Real not, chocolate. Yeah, not not, the not bar. American. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't think you can run off to a you know uh, the grocery store yeah. or the gas station uh, and find a bar yeah. that's going to kind of fit that bill. When you eat the real, it's the real stuff it can have life-changing effects as it did with my life. I mean, you're so passionate about it. You, uh, you were telling me you, you work really hard to bring this awareness, not just because you like it for yourself, but mm -hmm. because you really feel, see the benefits of people you share yes. it with. During my whole 40s to 50, about 41 to 50, for nine years, I was debilitated with fibromyalgia. Back when I had it in the early 90s, nobody not many people even had heard about it, knew what it was. Uh, when I was diagnosed with it, I just kept getting worse and worse, had to kind of back off my business, let my employees and my managers run my business. I was running my business from a bed. And finally, um, I kind of read and, and discovered cacao and that the Europeans you, were using it for the King of France and that the Mayans and Aztecs, Aztecs went to war with pockets full of cacao. So it was no book that I was reading that about the health benefits. I just was studying this to, you know, get my mind off of things. And um, so when I, um, when I finally uh, found some, which I, like I said, it took me about two months here in America to find real chocolate. Wow. And I started eating it and 
about six or so weeks later, I realized my whole life was changed. I had no pain anymore. I was back to work. I was making my bed. I was walking down my stairs every day. I was going down for dinner. I was preparing dinner. My whole life was back. And I realized that I either had my miracle, because I had literally, I was so sick I had been praying to die. It's like, just take me, Lord. The pain after that many years just got so unbearable that every day it's like, I just, I can't go on anymore. It's just, you're in pain 24 seven. I don't have it anymore. And for about 13 years of eating the cacao every day of my life, in the morning on an empty stomach, I have been off of all 10 medicines that I was on back then. I take two pieces of chocolate every morning. And it's pure cacao? It's, well, it's 70%. Because uh -huh. you want a little bit, you know, we still want a little bit of sweetness in our chocolate. That little bit is okay. I'm not diabetic, but even if I was, I could safely eat uh, the chocolate that we've, uh, that we've um, come up with. And most chocolate, 70 plus, is, right. is pretty safe. And most doctors will go, there's so little chocolate, won't even change the glycemic index. It gives you energy, uh, totally different energy in caffeine than like is in coffee. Coffee is a very toxic um, type of caffeine and actually uh, affects our, our brain cells. Chocolate, there is absolutely nothing to worry about with chocolate. There is no side effects at all. You can eat as much chocolate as you want, real chocolate I'm talking about, the, the high level cacao, and you will have nothing but you know energy levels. You will not have that um, blood sugar you know spiking all the time uh, that you would get if you ate, um, like you said, a Kit Kat or something that's got a little bit more sugar in it. Um, which, which we really want to avoid. What is your dream? Mm. Well, I love to travel, so I'm, I'm really trying to start building more stores in places that, uh, that I want to uh, enjoy going to here in the States. And then I want to be able to just keep constantly keep traveling over to Europe, love it over there, want to bring you know good chocolate. Um, so the, the dream is to educate more people do seminars uh, around the country, um, uh, finish you know a book that's kind of bringing all this knowledge you know together, and then um, go off into the sunset with my husband one of these days. <laughs> so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Love talking about chocolate. I mean, it's um, it's a it's a really interesting food that uh, people do not know enough cool facts about it. So, yes. So yeah. here, I want to uh, invite all the the viewers and and. Uh, really everyone to, to wake up, to awaken, to, to uh, educate ourselves about chocolate, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also to literally wake up in the morning with a good little bite of the right... About an ounce. About an ounce, about an ounce. Yeah. of a good 70% um, good or higher chocolate. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. Lingering with my black dress on, looking at my telephone, it's getting late. I'm going home.